Now, a look at an exciting new piece of technology that will allow beef producers to throw away the rubber gloves and keep their arms on the right side of their cows, the outside. A portable preg scanner started off as just a good idea, but thanks to MLA backing, it's now off the drawing board and well on the way to becoming a reality. It may look like a weird contraption, but this simple device could revolutionise pregnancy testing for cattle. It's a prototype portable scanner, easy enough for anyone to use, saves the cost of a vet and operates externally so is safer. It has major advantages for all involved according to its inventor, a vet, who's all too familiar with traditional methods. It's certainly non-invasive, it's a non-invasive methodology and so um, the, the cow doesn't get a sore backside, the vet doesn't get a sore arm and hopefully the producer doesn't get a sore wallet. The portable scanner uses electrical and audio sensors to pick up the foetal heartbeat. It's still very much in development, perhaps two years off being commercially available, but early field trials have produced promising results. It's uh, a research tool at the moment, which is why it's large and clunky. This technology definitely works, but I want to be able to hand it to something like a 16-year-old ringer or a, a herd manager in a, in a, in a herd who, and then know that they can use the device with confidence and get accurate results. The final product may look like this. Yeah, this is a model of the prototype. Um, the product, as you can see, is perhaps 600 millimetres long. Um, you can see it's you know, reasonably uh, robust. To, to hold for a farmer, bit of protection there. Battery slots in, slots out, rather like a cordless drill. And you can see little lights here that flash or light up, telling you what stage the um, device is up to. So when you place it against the flank of an animal, of a cow, you press this trigger, it's reading, and after 15 or perhaps 30 seconds, a little signal will come up here. Click the button, and there you have a pregnant cow or a non-pregnant cow. Importantly, the project aims to develop the technology to also do foetal ageing. The portable scanner will also have an inbuilt RFID reader, so results can be accurately recorded. An MLA survey found that just over 4 out of 10 producers currently pregnancy test their cows each year, and the main reasons cited for not doing it were cost and lack of availability of vets, especially in remote northern areas. So the potential for a simple device that can be used by anyone, anywhere, is obvious. That's why MLA got behind it. It wants to make testing readily available to a lot more producers than currently do it. We estimate about $24 million per annum is being spent by those producers on pregnancy testing now. We're hoping to drive down the cost per head, but also increase the convenience factor associated with pregnancy testing. And I think we'll certainly drive up those rates of pregnancy testing above, certainly above 50% and hopefully towards the 60 and 70%. It's aiming to get the cost down towards $2 a head so producers can get the benefit of better herd management. Pregnancy testing and determining fetal age is a key way to improve reproductive performance. Knowing which cows are pregnant allows you to better look after them and leads to improved weaning and selling weights, fewer mortalities and reduced replacement rates. It also allows you to weed out non-productive animals, all of which translates into higher returns for the producer. The portable scanner is already eagerly anticipated by producers, especially in remote areas. The vets are at certain times a year flat out, so we need to look at other systems of providing this very important input to our management system and anything like the, any, any sort of mechanical aid like that is going to be very very well received. If it can achieve ageing as well as pregnancy diagnosis itself that becomes a big plus as well. Even those who already test their own animals without using a vet can see the advantages of a non-invasive technique. I think it's brilliant. I really am very excited and um, having well, we're a, a owner-operator, very sort of medium-sized place, and spend a lot of time preg testing. It's an in, it's a um, a fairly cumbersome, lengthy, timely sort of part of mustering that, and this will be, be radical, be a big change. The two point three million dollars it cost to develop the scanner used government funding matched with private investment, coordinated through MLA's donor company rather than dipping into levy money. 
They're convinced it's a good investment. We've done some modelling and we've, we've, you've been fairly conservative in that and we estimate the value of this t- sort of technology, if it's successfully delivered, will be worth about $110 million to the industry for a cost of 2.3. For the inventors, the advantage of MLA's backing has been more than just financial. MLA's money has certainly been valuable, but perhaps what's been even more valuable is their endorsement, uh, their, their tangible backing of this technology. Uh, for their producers. That's given our financial investors a huge boost of confidence. The scanner has yet to be christened, at least with a name that the inventors are willing to say on camera. But you can be sure the birth of this new gizmo will take some of the labour pains out of preg testing for producers across the country.